Hi, and welcome back. This is Allen High School studying thermochemistry and thermodynamics at the AP IBHL level. Now, we were talking about this sum of. That's what I call these formulas. You take the sum of product values that are provided and you subtract the sum of reactants that are, are provided. Now, we're then looking at the total for a particular reaction. Now, for delta H naught and delta G naught, we're looking at formation values. For entropy, we're looking at the positional entropy. Notice that there's no delta in front of these. So let's calculate this one. We use the appendix at the back of the book. And we're still dealing in products minus reactants. So if I look up the value for N2O, I, or NO2, excuse me, I get 240, be careful, joules per Kelvin. And for N2O4, I get 304.3 joules per Kelvin. And now to do the sum of formula, delta H of my, or excuse me, delta S of my reaction, this time we're talking about entropy, is equal to, I've got two of the NO2s, okay, so this really should be joules per mole Kelvin is my guess, I didn't write that down well, joules per mole Kelvin, I'm going to multiply it by two moles, that will get rid of the moles, and it's 240 minus one, I'm just being explicit there, 304.3, okay? And the moles cancel, that mole will cancel with that mole, and what we end up with is uh, 176 joules per Kelvin for that reaction as written. That means for one mole of N2O4 and for two moles of NO2. Now, here's a little bit tougher one, a little bit more challenging. We have a hydrate, and this time it's asking us to calculate S0 for that hydrate in the solid uh, state. And we are given the delta S of the reaction. Now, I had to provide these for you because these aren't on all tables. Joules per mole Kelvin. And... I'll fix another unit issue in a minute. Uh, ammonia and water we can look up. And ammonium chloride we can look up those values. So I looked those up, that's 94.6. This is 192.3 and this is 69.9. So that means delta S of the reaction, which is given here, be very, very careful that you're looking at that correctly. That's delta S naught for the reaction, not from a table looked up from a value. So that's what goes here, is 592 joules per Kelvin. Everything's in joules, so we're okay. So we're going to take our products. So I have one barium chloride, it's 123, plus two ammonias times 192.3, plus 10 waters at 69.9, and now I'm going to subtract my reactants. I've got one unknown, and I've got two of the ammonium chlorides, 94.6. So that's how you set that up. Solve for X, and we get 425 joules, but let's be very clear here, that is joules per mole Kelvin, right? That's what we report these in. So let's fix those units. Joules per mole of the barium hydroxide octahydrate, Kelvin. All right? So very much like what we saw for the delta H. And let's hop in and do this for delta G. Same thing. So all we have to do is write our reaction. Ethyl alcohol we saw earlier. A way you can write alcohols is, is the formula for an alcohol is the same thing as an alkane plus an oxygen, as long as it's just a single alcohol group. So F is two carbons, ethane is C2H6, and we need an O there for the alcohol group. Alcohol groups, remember, are OH groups. 
So that's ethyl alcohol plus oxygen because it's a combustion is going to give me CO2 plus H2O. And then I have to balance it. And it's a one and a three and a two and a three. And because we're dealing in thermodynamics, thermodynamics is very sensitive to states. I did this one using water vapor as opposed to water liquid, but definitely the CO2 is a gas. This is a gas. Alcohols are liquids. Alcohols are liquids, just an FYI, because while we have some carbon, bunches of carbons, R is often used to reference a bunch of carbons. This is polar. Not only this, this can hydrogen bond. So we have strong hydrogen bonding intermolecular forces, which makes ethanol a liquid. Even though ethane is a gas, that alcohol group makes it a liquid due to hydrogen bonding. All right, so delta G for my reaction as written, you could call it delta G for the combustion because it's a combustion reaction. It's perfectly acceptable there is going to be two times my value that I look up for CO2. And if you look that up in the back of your book, you see it's 394.4. Now we're in the world of kilojoules per mole. So two moles times kilojoules per mole, gets rid of the moles, plus three times the water. And be careful, I used water vapor this time. So it's a slightly different value of 228.6. It's going to be very clear in the context of the question what you should be using. I've seen both. I don't think we can make any definitive statement on that. Now we're going to take away our reactants. We have one ethanol and it's minus 174.8 kilojoules per mole plus three times our oxygen. Well, just like delta H, elements in their natural state of matter at standard ambient temperature and pressure are zero. Not true for entropy, very true for our uh, delta H and our delta G. And what we get is minus 1299.8 kilojoules for the reaction as balanced which means for one mole of ethanol, for three moles of oxygen, for two moles of CO2, and for three moles of water. So that's the amount of energy for that reaction as balanced. If it's not balanced that way, for example, if the coefficients are doubled, we're going to see that we're going to have to double this delta G value here. All right, so you've got to be very careful. We don't call it per mole. It's per reaction as balanced, or you could say per mole ratio. Now, what you can do is take these three sum of formulas and find maybe delta H and delta S, and you can combine them with our balancing act, which is our delta G naught is equal to delta H naught minus T delta S naught. And this formula works at non-standard states as long as we are talking about the same conditions for all three of those. Okay, so that's it for this one, a short little video. I may actually have you watch it in class uh, if you're having trouble with these. Some of you are going to blow right through these and get them right away. And if that's the case, I won't make you watch the video. So until then, this is YBC signing off.